Hey YouTube, um, in this video I'm just going to be uh, showing you kind of a more laid back tutorial on how to use the uh, hidden logic, the color tweaker, or the uh, unused logic or unreleased, however you want to say it. It's just a really cool tool and I just wanted to tell you more about it. Um, you can get this tool by uh, going to the... Uh, what is it? Hellfire 2345's Earth, and then playing the uh, stuff Sumo forgot to give out. I get, I'll uh, have that in the description, that level, so you can queue it and whatnot. So uh, I just basically wanted to show this tool because it's super, super useful, and I wanted to give a better tutorial on it. So um, basically, what you want to do, just to make the tool a little bit easier for you to use, uh, get out a microchip and get out the color tweaker and uh, before you use it I'd suggest you like right here you just save the level and then hover over it you'll get kicked back to the pod but then when you come back in the level you'll uh, be able to tweak it and stuff like that so uh, anyway after you get that uh, get out the battery and put three of them down and what I like to do is the top one is red, the middle is green, the bottom one's blue. So what I like to do is I put this one to red and then wire it, put this one to green. As you saw it already is already doing the colors, so and then here's blue. So that it's just like a good way of showing everything. Uh so this is pretty much the tool. And I already kind of made one that uh, looks good. And you can do this too if you want to. So basically what, what you want to do with this is if you want to... Hang on. If you made something like a logo or something and you want to give it a really specific color thing. Like here's a Rainbow Dash's cutie mark from MLP. Just I want, I'm trying to redo my costume a little bit because... Uh, I tried to make a transparent sticker of my, my, uh, crap, my logo, but it's, like, too dark, and there's, like, weird stuff around it, so I just want to redo my costume a little bit, so, uh, I need to make this, because this is on the back of my shirt, and since the color tweaker exists now, I wanted to try and use it, and it's super useful, it's really cool, so, all you want to do is make the object of whatever you're trying to make out of, uh, sticker panel that's probably the best one to use and I'm pretty sure everyone has it now because it's LVP3 I'm pretty sure they give it out but uh, yeah so just make your thing out of sticker panel and what you want to do is uh, I'm gonna switch over to my computer right now basically what you want to do is uh, find the picture of the thing you want to make and right click it go to open with I'm doing it on my other monitor but uh, right click the picture open with and then do paint or you can do whatever if you have Photoshop or something it's probably easier but so just open it in paint and hit this tool the color picker and then just choose the color you want to replicate in LBP and then hit edit colors and what this is going to do is it's going to show you the RGB values of the thing so like here's red green and blue but uh yeah so you just want to get these colors and uh, back to the game back to the game though uh, the way this works is uh, uh, it works with batteries so I'm stuttering all over the place uh, it works with batteries so it's like a zero to a hundred percent you can see it changing down there and uh, basically what we want to do is back to the computer we want to convert these values which are out of 255 so white is 255 for all of these so what you want to do is, oh, let me pick it again. What you want to do is find these colors. So red is 239. And so what you want to do is go to Google or just any calculator. So you can type 239 divided by 255. And 255, like I said, is already that. So then you get this, uh, this decimal. So what you want to do is you just kind of want to uh, take the first three, and if it's five, what is it? 
If it's like six and above, you want to round up, and if it's five or below, you want to round down. So like, uh, back to the game. Actually, no, not yet. But uh, this would be ninety-four because seven rounds up, and then the ninety-three. So now back to the game. If you set the value to ninety-four, whoops. Yeah, set the value to ninety-four. Then yeah, it doesn't show here yet because. Uh, what you want to do with basically all of your sticker panels, you want to set them to 50. So I think I already did that. No, oh, no, I didn't. I'll do it later. Uh, so yeah, you just want to set your sticker panel to 50, and then you want to do all these colors. So 94 for the red. So let's go back to green. 65. So just do uh, 65 divided by 255. And sorry, my dog's walking in. Uh, let's see here. So, this would round down to, or it would stay the same, because it rounds down. So, 25%. So, back to the game. Green, 25%. And you can see the color starting to change. And then, finally, for blue, 53. So, do that, and it's 21%. So, set this. Whoops. Yep, and then as you can see, it's pretty, the color is really accurate to the uh, game, or to the actual picture, and actually, I think if you set it to 40, it's even more accurate, yeah, so set it to 40 instead of 50, sorry about that, so, I'll just set all these real quick, so yeah, 40, and now, this one's done. So just copy the thing again, the microchip, and you can hide this. And then let's go on to the next color. So color picker, choose the yellow, edit color, and red is 245. So this will be just 99 pretty much. So wait, what was that? 254. Okay, never mind. Jeez. Alright, 254, so yeah, 99. <laughs> so to set this, green is 233. So that would be 91%. And you see the yellow coming out. Dog, please stop sneezing. And 108 for the blue. So let's do this. and 42 percent and as you can see again the color is super accurate to what it actually is <clears throat> so i'm just going to do that with the rest of these because actually i'm trying to get the colors of these get the colors no red so we can just set that to zero okay green 147 So 50, what is that? Eh, 58. And then blue, 208. 81. Or, yeah, I'll just do 81. Okay. And white. I'm pretty sure it's just 100, but I'll check to make sure, just just because. Yeah, it's 255 for all of them. So actually for these, you can just kind of have it set to 44. So yeah, um, this is now like a really accurate representation. It's not 100% accurate because uh, you're, we're converting the values, so it's like almost perfect, but it's not quite perfect. So uh, with this done, with the uh, colors, uh, to make a good picture, you just set the darkness all the way down, and just hide that, and you can click in the uh, left stick to turn on preview, so that those aren't there, and then, I guess you can just go here to preview too, and then go to front view, and then from here you can just take the picture, 
Let me figure it out. And just take the picture like this. And let's see. There we go. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go down here and do the costume. And take it off a preview and front view. And put this on my back. Even though a little big planet three isn't very good at picture taking. And it's good enough. So put that back there. Thank you, dog. And just situating. Yeah, I think that's good enough. So yeah. Um I have to redo the crown because I actually redid my costume based on the uh, new Emerald Witch that I have a video on my main channel of. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and you know all that. So yeah, and you can follow me on Twitter at GlitchMaster7. Alright, goodbye.